What is going on here, everybody? Welcome back to another LSPFR tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to install Simple Control for LSPFR in 2023. So let's get right into this. What you're going to do is go down to the link down in the description. It'll take you to this page right here, Simple Control. At the time of this recording, it's going to be version 1.0.2. Once you get to this page right here, second, just click this download button. Click read. Now it's going to download. Now save it where you know where it's going to be. I'm going to save it to my desktop. There you go. Once you got that downloaded, open that file up. Once you have WinRAR or Zen Zip installed, All right? In here, you will have a simple control folder. Open it up. You'll have some documentation. A readme, a config, and a change log. And here, in the Grand Theft, Grand Theft Auto folder, you will have a plugins folder and common client.dll. Now let's pull up our main directory. I'll post the, the, the directories down in the description down below. I, I just want to get this tutorial done as soon as possible. So I'm going to bring up my directory. Mine is going to be on my uh, E drive, Steam Games, Steam Apps, Common, Grand Theft Auto 5. Yours is different. For those of you who have external hard drives, yours is going to be different. And people who are installed the game on the C drive, yours is going to be different. All right, so once we've got our main directory up, what you want to do is take these two files here, the plugins and the common client.dl, drag, and drop those in to your main directory. You see, I already have it installed. If this is your first time installing it, it should be fine. You're installed, you're good to go. If you're updating from the previous version, from 1.0.1, just simply click replace the files and destination, which I'm pretty sure I'm on the old version of Simple Control. And that's it. Now let's go in game and check this out. I'll see you guys in game. All right, so now we're in in game. Go in the Travis vehicle. Sorry, yes. Let's go ahead and once we're in game, we're going to hit F4 and then to load the plugin. So load plugin and scroll down to you see Simple Control dot DLL. Hit tab, enter. And it's loaded in. I'm going to load in my seatbelt. My seatbelt mod from Fire. Shout out to Fire for the um, seatbelt mod. And more so, that's from him as well. Appreciate. Then I'm going to go to my simple trainer. I'm going to get me a vehicle. Go to my edit vehicles menu, and I'm gonna get me the Bravado Ram 2500. Which is this one right here. And control. And there is, in, as you can see, on top of the mini map, we have the oil, where it says oil, DSC, your license plate number, your fluid, your AC, and engine. One cool thing about this, now if we stop, we got brakes. The braking system is good. Now if we stay in at this traffic light, we got brake brake lights. How cool is that? <laughs> One thing cool about it is if you use your left arrow, you get your turn left turn signal. Then your right arrow, you got right turn signal. Now if you hit the down arrow key, you got hazards. Alright, the one thing, the other cool thing about this is the damage system. Now if I go, go to a certain amount of speed, if I go try to hit a pole, or a tree, At four, uh, I guess it's not a thing yet. Okay, my my correction. All right, so if I hit T, shift G. If you hit shift G, it'll turn off your engine. One way to turn it back on is for me. I hit W, it'll turn it back on. How cool is that? Now for push control, take a second to. No, not that mod. Mm -hmm. Holy crap, I gotta get, come on, I gotta pause in.